we have arrived at the very end of the WNBA season, ladies and gentlemen. Man, I gotta tell you, what a thrilling five game series we just got between the New York Liberty and the Minnesota Lynx. And I gotta tell you, the New York Liberty have won the WNBA Finals, their first ever title to the 2024 WNBA champions. And you just got a feel for everybody on that team right there. You know, it was, again, the series had it all. The playoffs had it all. It had it all. There were there were things that I did not expect in my first year of watching the WNBA fully. And yet we got them. We got it all. We got all the drama, all the craziness, all the sickle behavior i mean this is just, this is right up my alley this is right up my alley right here i mean shoot i mean even the best professional leagues don't have this type of craziness you know each and every week but yeah this was a five game series that went all the way to the end i mean the fiji collie i mean just dominant you know on the court and, you know unfortunately she got fouled out at the end of game five but you know the backups, you know, the the backup singers behind Collier, Courtney Williams, Caleb McBride, they were on point, you know, at times throughout this series. You know, a, a lot of Smith and Bridget Carlton, they were they were pretty good too. You know, they were pretty good too. You know, can't can't take away from them, you know. Liani Feevish on the other side, the rookie with her first championship, Sabrina Ionescu. Honestly played terribly the whole series, but when she was clutch, she was clutch. Brianna Stewart, of course, you know, another, you know, she had an off night tonight too. But when she came in clutch, she came in clutch. John Cole Jones, Courtney Bandersloot, um, you know, I mean, as well, you know, just this New York Liberty roster had the best record in the WBA and went, went down to the top two teams in the WBA, and they were able to – you know, sneak it out. There's no Vegas repeat. Vegas gets bounced in the semifinals. Connecticut also gets bounced in the semifinals. And the rapid energy that Caitlin Clark has brought into the WNBA has brought about some changes to the WNBA going into 2025. And Again, congrats to the Liberty on winning their first ever championship. Took them 28 years, but they got it. Um, some New York teams and maybe joining them, you know, if you're a baseball fan anyway. Um, but yeah, this, what a ride it was. We're going to have a seven game WNBA Finals next year. We're still going to have the three games in the first round, but it'll be two games. It'll be a 1 1 one format, you know, next year instead of the two games, you know, at the higher seed the, the one game, you know, game three, if it got down to it at the lower seed. So that was something that, that got changed. The semifinals will still be five games, but the finals will be seven. I got to tell you, it's an interesting proposal. Um, um, again, we're going to talk, you know, some of this nonsense in a second. Again, there will be 13 teams next year with the Golden State team coming on in. And, you know, it's, it's going to be an intriguing battle, you know, next year. You know, we got the 13 teams. You're going to have 44 games next year. So, you know, it, it's going to be it's going to be intriguing. It's going to be fun. Uh, I can't wait for the 2025, you know, WBA season. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. But. Now we can push WNBA off to the side, you know, and we can talk a little NBA here. So, season starts on Tuesday. Tuesday night, the Boston Celtics are looking to defend and repeat as, the, as NBA champions. I mean, the roster is basically still the same. Some teams, you know, have kind of upgraded their rosters. Some teams have kind of downgraded their rosters. You know, it is what it is. Um... There was a blockbuster trade that indeed happened over the course of the last time we talked, you know, the WNBA and everything like that during the uh, – before the playoffs started a month ago. There was a blockbuster trade that happened at Carl Anthony Towns. It's now a Nick, 
and Minnesota gains Julius Randle in exchange. Now, there's also Michael Bridges. He's also a Nick now, so you know that's gonna be it's gonna be something to watch. But when you look at it, when you look at this team, you know the New York Knicks. When you look at them, they could definitely you know do some damage in the 2020. Four to 2025, they could do some damage. Um, again, Boston has basically retained their entire core with Tatum and Brown. Um, I know a lot of people are probably wondering, what do I think of the Lakers this year? I don't really think anything too much of the Lakers, you know? I mean, cool, Bronny and LeBron are on the same team. Cool, that's cool, I guess. Is that going to help the Lakers, you know? In the actual playoffs, not the NBA Cup nonsense. We don't care about that here. But what about the actual playoffs? I don't know. Uh, you know, there's still Luka out west. You know, the Clippers are injured already. You know, Paul George hyperextended his knee in the preseason. Uh, somebody else got injured too. I know Paul George got injured. And then who else got injured? Somebody else got injured. Uh, I don't know, but I know somebody got injured. It was George. And oh yeah, Kawhi. Right, right. Kawhi is always injured though. And so the Clippers. I don't have high expectations for the Clippers to be quite honest with you. And yet again, they're injured. So it's like, what do you really say with this with that Clippers team? Uh, Minnesota, definitely watch out for Minnesota, baby. Oh boy, oh boy, it's gonna be a good one this year with Cat on the inside. You know, for the Knicks now, but you trade that for Randall. You know that that could get pretty interesting. Him and Anthony Edwards, this could be intriguing. SGA and Nikola Jokic, you know, for Oklahoma City and Denver. Oh, boy. Definitely going to be something to watch. Dallas, you know, they got Clay Thompson. That's fine. San Antonio got Chris Paul. That's that's fine. That's fine, I guess. Is that going to help San Antonio? Probably not. Old State, uh, I don't know, man. Maybe Jonathan Kaminga will, you know, uplift this offense a little bit. But honestly, I don't know at this point. I don't know. I don't know, man. And the rest of the East, I, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. LaMelo Ball, is he's back, you know. that That's cool, right? You know, Tyrese Halliburton is still leading Indiana. That should be, that should be intriguing. But honestly, I think. What we're going to get is a combination out east. I think we're going to get a combination out east of, you know, maybe Milwaukee. Milwaukee, you know, still has Giannis and stuff. We're probably going to get a combination of Milwaukee, New York, taking on Boston out east and out west. Really, this year, this year, it should be Oklahoma City, Minnesota. If it's not, it Denver, you know, somehow gets in there. I, I, I can see it. I just don't see the Mavs getting there this year. So you're probably wondering, hey, what is your NBA Finals prediction? Well, um, I've got a pretty interesting prediction. So, um, yeah, so I think, I think we're heading towards – I think we're heading towards a matchup that probably should have been the matchup last year, but, you know – it ended up not being that, and I think we're going to end up with the Boston-Minnesota NBA Finals this year. I know, I know. I just think the way that roster for Minnesota is constructed, they really should be back in – they really should be in the NBA Finals. Not back because Dallas was there last year, but it should be Minnesota this year. Yeah, Denver still has all their pieces and stuff like that, you know, or at least a lot of their pieces – but ultimately, I think, I think with the way this roster is constructed and with the way Boston's roster is constructed, I think we are going to get a finals matchup that should be intriguing. 
and if this goes to seven games, I think this will be one of the best finals of all time. You know, because again, the talent that Minnesota has is just it's just there. You know, it was there last year. They just couldn't get it done at the end. Boston, pretty much the same team as last year. And I think, you know, they could easily get it done out east because, again, NBA Finals is still, you know, NBA kind of, you know, basketball just kind of has this problem in general, except for men's college basketball. Men's college basketball does not have this problem. But basketball in general has this problem of top teams, you know, just kind of being there, you know, they're just kind of in the championship pretty much automatically. So if you expect any kind of wild predictions like, oh, somebody's going to say like, oh, well, the Portland Trailblazers are going to make the NBA Finals this year. You must be smoking something if you think the Portland Trailblazers are going to make the NBA Finals this year. Or somebody's probably going to say something like, well, the Detroit Pistons are going to make the NBA Finals this year. You must be smoking something. I know there's teams like Orlando out there and Cleveland, you know, that are also pretty Interesting contenders. Yeah, they matched up last year in the in the uh, first round, but again, the NBA is so top heavy that it just hardly there's hardly a discussion to be had. You know, in, at least definitely the first couple months of the season. There's hardly a discussion to be had the first couple months of the season. That's why college basketball comes back. And that's why we can talk college basketball. You know, and things like that. So you're probably wondering who I think the NBA champion will be. Well, you might gotten a hit already of who I think the NBA champion will be this year. And that will be, in my opinion, it will be the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Ant-Man will be hanging up a banner for Minnesota to make up for the Lynx losing. So that's just what I think. I do not think Boston will repeat. I just don't. I think the matchups go very well, you know, if Randall, you know, plays up to his potential because there are times where both Cat and Julius Randall do not play up to their potential. Um, you know, it is what it is. So that's what I think the NBA champion will be. Watch me be completely wrong, though, because I do think I'll be wrong where I'm, I'm always wrong. I'm always wrong on most of these predictions. I'm like, I got an 85% streak of being wrong on these predictions. That's how bad I am at predicting stuff. So at the end of the day, congratulations against the New York Liberty. What a successful season for the WNBA. Yeah, I know the WNBA lost money. Yeah, I know. I know. Some leagues just lose a lot of money. I know. Yeah, there's definitely some problems with the fans on Twitter. I know. I know. Yeah, there's definitely some, you know, just some issues in general. Again, 44 games next year. There's gonna there's gonna be that un, unrivaled league in January, which has TNT backing and Brianna Stewart and, and company, you know, are funding that to try and keep players over here. But I mean, there's also Athletes Unlimited trying to keep players in the US. But is that going to be enough to keep a lot of a lot of these gals in the US? I don't know. Clark ain't playing, you know. At least that's what she said. She's probably playing golf or something like that right now. So, and again, and again just to really kind of hammer it home with the WBA real quick before I get on up out of here. Forty-four games next year. We're probably going to have an updated CBA at some point. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there should be an updated CBA from the players. But I don't know when that will be. Um, again, there really isn't any sort of pay increase or roster increase to kind of, you know, kind of justify, you know, a seven game finals when, again, it should be five, five, and five instead of three, five, seven. That doesn't make any sense. What do you think this is? The Major League Baseball? Come on now, don't don't be like the idiots at MLB. Be better than this. It should have been five, five, and five. I just think, you know, seven game finals is a little bit too long, you know, for the WNBA when you know the season already goes into the NFL season already, which is something that also needs to be fixed. But again, it's kind of a hard fix. You're not gonna get it solved overnight. So there's really no point in really trying to go too crazy with. You know, 
it'd be it, uh, NFL season starting. So from me to you, I'm going to get on up out of here, and we'll talk again later on, you know, this week with college football. I, I got some things to say. Can't wait to talk about, you know, what I got to say about my Longhorns and, and, and the NFL this week. It wasn't as crazy, but it's 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 probably going to get crazy by the time Monday night is over. So, yeah, that'll do it for me, and I'm going to get on out of here and hope y'all enjoy y'all Sunday. I know New York, I know people in New York are enjoying theirs. So, to lose.